Alright DP students, we are on our second activity for our drawing unit, which is illustration. And you get a little bit of choice here on this one. I was going to do two tutorials, but I decided that I'm going to let people choose either or, um, whatever your preference is. So uh, the theme overall is personal and cultural expression, so whatever you're drawing, try to incorporate that into it in some way. Um, you all took a personal project, so I'm sure that you are well aware of global context and that's why I gave you this personal and cultural expression challenge to add to your artwork to this. So you have two op options. You can um, learn and practice gesture drawing at, in the uh, tutorial and design three outfits that represent your overall style and there's really not a limit there. Um, and the option two is to draw a room in your home after learning how to draw a perspective drawing and create an illustration of that room in your home. So you're going to need some supplies for this. They're listed there. Um, what will happen is you'll watch the, the first lecture video, which is this one right now, um, and it will go over both of the styles of art so you can decide which one you want to choose. So you'll choose one. And then if you want to do the, both of them, that's fine. Like if you have extra time and you are excited about both of them and want to do both, please do it. Um, and after you've picked one, you're just going to watch the tutorial video for the one you chose. You don't have to watch both. These are not done by me. These are done by um, professional artists and they have really great, these are two great videos that I really like and appreciate when I'm teaching in class. So I'm glad to bring them to you today. Um, complete a drawing based on the theme, which is personal and cultural expression, and then at the end of it you'll have a reflection and um, you'll fill those out in your journal or in, in your process journal and eventually when we sh get done with all three of this, these activities we will be sharing this. Alright, so I want to show you this artist. Her name is Laura Callahan. And she's an artist that I've been following for a while. Um, I found her um, online like years and years ago when I was researching and she illustrated for Urban Outfitters so that was what really enticed me in because I like their their stuff and I shopped there I started shopping there when I was in fourth grade I got a shirt that said girl power on it <laughs> um, but this illustrator lives in London and her work is largely watercolor India ink and pen um, she depicts fearless women in colorful, maximalist environments. So here's some of her work for Nike, some of her work from outside um, outside of a, a building. Here's some more of her illustrations. Gosh, every time I look at them, they're just so inspiring. The looks on the women's faces in these are just fantastic. And she's got all these symbols and oh, so much symbolism. And y'all if you don't know this about me, but I am like a sucker for symbolism in artwork. So there's just so much going on with these maximalized environments. And then these are just illustrations that I found from amateur sources online that I thought would be cool to show you when you get a sense of illustration. Um, in illustration, there are not as many rules. Um, think about when Audrey Benjaminson visited us and, uh, you know, all the different um, things that she uses in her artwork. She doesn't limit herself to just one thing. So maybe you're really great at digital art and you want to do this digital style instead of in your sketchbook. Oh my gosh, be my guest. Um, for the rest of you, stick to something that's more your style, a little bit out there. It can be sort of realistic, but then also have that touch of playfulness, that touch of cartoon. That's what illustration sort of is. Um, it's really a, a wide genre because there's so much um, so this is just a little bit of what illustration has to offer so you could always go on Pinterest or Google and look at different um, illustrations um, but these are some of the ones that I thought I really liked this bathroom one here um, so what will you choose uh, you're gonna decide here's the link to the videos here and they're also in the Schoology folder um, I really like the if you are interested in drawing figure and getting better at figure, I'm going to put a disclaimer on the figure. That's why I'm letting you choose because there are, you may see some naked or nearly naked body parts um, as resources. They have um, in the web, in the video, the guy says, um, if you go to my website, there are free models that you can use as references. And this is awesome. It's awesome. So if you don't want to see, um, people's body parts it's not tasteless at all it's very tasteful um but it's really good because it's like 
you don't have to search like that awkward search of like I need a nude model but I don't want it to be a weird search so this solves that for you this guy gives you all these references these reference books that you can use of people who have modeled their bodies to show you how to draw the human figure so this is a great opportunity for you to practice along so you'll practice along with a video um, just try your best do a couple of human figure drawings and then decide that you want to uh, how you want to complete your three uh, fashion designs and then if you're choosing perspective also a super great video to uh, uh, just kind of watch and draw along with uh, you can do you can draw along exactly what they're doing in the video you're definitely gonna want a ruler or a yardstick uh, you can't really do it without that. You could try, but uh, it would probably would go a little wonky because the goal of perspective is to be more mathematical about your art. So if you're a person that enjoys uh, marrying these, um, these two things, art and math, um, perspective's really fun too. Um, so here are the perspective slides. I'm just going to briefly go through this. I'm seriously going to go through it fast because you can look at this for yourself once you make your choice. Um, so it's a technique used to make um, three, make things appear 3D on a 2D plane. So they always have a, a vanishing point and a horizon line, perspective drawings do. So uh, perspective eventually evolved before um, we didn't have perspective, everything was flat. So this Egyptian art here uh, is sort of idealistic and captures the overall essence of something, but it's flat. So there's no dimension there. Um, and eventually we got Leonardo da Vinci uh, was super smart and invented this perspective and you see it in this uh, this painting here we're getting there on this painting on the left over there this is in the 12th to 15th century so we're still getting there and then we get there and then we just keep going in art right and look at this beautiful perspective in these artworks so we have a lot of perspective going on here um, Here's how it works, one, two, or three. Um, the drawing that you're doing in the video is used to draw a room. So if you've ever done a perspective drawing before, you've probably drawn a city. I know I did some, I let some sixth graders draw their dream room because I had them twice when I, I, I taught at Scarlet uh, five years ago, four years ago. And um, I, I had a few students twice, and they were like rock star students. And um, I said, okay, go design your dream room. And it was awesome. Um, so I hope maybe you got this experience in middle school, because I know I tried to give it to you, to some people. Um, so here's one point. These are the rules for one point. I'm just going to skip right on through it and so show you some quick examples, because you can look at these for yourself if you choose it. Um, this is two point walks you through the steps so even if you don't use the video you can use these as reference for like let's say you've got some stuff set up in your room you can use that there's a room here that they drew um, and next we are at fashion illustration so that's your other option I'd like it to all be on the same page to sort of make it have a, a sense of cohesiveness like it goes together especially this person tied it all in with the leopard um, this person has a summer theme um, this person's colors all sort of go together and she has the New York theme. I love this idea of marrying some old and some new together, traditional designs, personal and cultural expression. I put some really good references in here. I put a plus size model in. I put some varying different poses from models. Um, I put a special thing on how to just draw a hand because I th thought that would be really helpful for you to get the overall shapes just like he does in the gesture drawings. Um, and then I thought I'd put in some different fashion stuff for you. Or, you know, while you're drawing it, you could go to Netflix and just watch Next in Fashion because it's awesome and you learn a lot about um, fashion on that show oh my gosh I just finished watching it and I'm sad that it's over now so I'm looking for more shows to watch that are as uplifting as that darn show was it's Tan France he's such a nice guy anyway moving on um here are some other student examples of the perspective drawing now this student uh, these are actually art and design students from my last year's classes um so this one on the right is a drawing that a student did and this is right after we started, um, we were inside 
uh, from COVID, and uh, you can see that this person appears to be in some sort of a hospital room, and the they've got the window open, and the the drapes are blowing, so it's very dramatic. Um, yours doesn't have to be serious; it can be uh, lighter. This this student sort of married the lighter and the serious together because this was also during COVID time. So this person's got like paper towels, and toilet papers, people are talking out the windows to each other, everybody's stay home, so oh, this person's got a mask on too, so you can sort of play with this theme. I also wanted to show you this too because I was going through some of my old DP examples because this is not exactly something I've done just like this in DP last time. Uh, last, I can't teach it, I wish that I could teach it because what we do is we actually spend some time digging into um, gesture drawing all together, figure drawing. So um, on the left are five drawings that Lily, who graduated last year, uh, did. And one's of me in the bottom left hand corner and then are, some of the others are from students in the class. And I want you to see how easy it is to just get pencil to paper, even if it's not perfect, and produce something lovely. And just, she just took a little bit of watercolor to this. It always, Lily always amazed me, you know, like she just, she was just awesome, the things that would, creative things that would come to her. And I want you to know it's not hard to um, to do if you let your brain go a little bit. So look at her drawings as an example there. Here's some more of uh, my former students. I already had those New York ones in there. I already put these, oh, darn, I put some in twice. Well then, okay. Um, and then this is your reflection. Are you happy with how this turned out? What challenges did you face? Um, materials and how they worked for you and how you use personal and cultural expression in your piece. So uh, have fun with this. Go pick which one you want to do.